Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. This video is part 2 of Mutex in SDM32, and today we will look at the priority inversion and priority inheritance. This video is the continuation of my last video. So, if you haven't watched my last video yet, I will advise you to do that first. Well, let's resume from where we left off. I will open my last project. Let's uncomment this task. Now we need all three tasks. In this video, we will see the difference between binary semaphore and mutex. So, let's create a binary semaphore. First of all, we need to create the semaphore handler, and let's call it bin semaphore. In this function, instead of taking mutex, we will acquire the binary semaphore. I will change this delay position, and increase it to 5 seconds. Now, just like we create the mutex, we will create the binary semaphore also. If the semaphore gets created successfully, we will print this string. After creating binary semaphore, it must be first given, before taking it. Let's make some small changes in the higher task, and the lower priority task. I will create a new medium priority task. This task will print this string, and it does not need any semaphore, or mutex to execute. And I am giving it the highest suspension time. Let's build this code. Few warnings are there, we will debug the code now. Let the program run for a while. I will explain what is going on here. Ok let's see now. The semaphore, and mutex both are created. The high priority task will run first, acquire the semaphore, print the string, release the semaphore, and exit. The medium priority task doesn't need semaphore, so it will run normally. Now the control enters the low priority task. It will call the function senduart, and will wait for 5 seconds to complete. But by then, high task will wake up, and it will also call the senduart function. It will try to acquire the semaphore, which is held by the low task. Higher task have no other option but to wait for the semaphore to become available. Now both high and low tasks are waiting. Medium task will wake up, and run. As it doesn't need any semaphore, it will continue to run every 2 seconds. Now think of a situation, where those 5 seconds are over, and low task wants to execute, but it can't, because the medium task is still running. The high task, which was already waiting for the low task to release the semaphore, now also have to wait for the medium task to finish its execution. So, high task have to wait for the medium task, and this scenario is called priority inversion. Once the medium task finishes, low task can execute further, 
and release the semaphore. High task will acquire the semaphore, print the string, and exit. Again the MPT will run. And finally the low task will exit. This whole sequence will continue in the similar way forever. I hope you understood the priority inversion properly. I will take a picture of this, to compare with the mutex output. Now, let's see how to avoid this priority inversion using mutex. I am going to change the semaphore with mutex, and rest of the code will remain same. Let's build and debug this now. Let the program run for a while. OK, let's see. I will open the picture from the semaphore to compare it with the mutex. The initial part is same in both of them. Control enters the high task, acquire the mutex, print the string, release the mutex, and exit the task. Medium task will run, it doesn't need mutex. Low task will run, and it will acquire the mutex. Just like as it acquired the semaphore in the other case. Now there will be a 5 seconds delay. High task will wake and try to acquire the mutex. Now is the important part, as the high task is waiting for the mutex, and the low task have the mutex, the priority of the low task will change to that of the high task. This scenario is called the priority inheritance. Because the low task inherited the priority of the highest task, waiting for the mutex. Now the medium task cannot preempt this low task, because the low task has the highest priority now. This was not the case with semaphore, and medium task preempted the low task in that. Now, once the low task releases the mutex, high task will acquire it, print the string, releases it, and exit itself. The medium task can finally run now. And at last, low task will also exit. Basically both the output are same, except the medium task can't preempt the low task in the mutex. And that's because, the low task inherits the priority of the highest waiting task, which is higher than the medium task. The same sequence will run forever. So, this is what priority inversion means, and this is how it is corrected by using priority inheritance. This is for the video guys. I hope you understood the concept clearly. You can download the code from the link in the description. Leave comments in case of any doubt. Keep watching, and have a nice day.